Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to What Sold Sunday. Hopefully, you've all had a great week. Uh, it's been our first week back out of lockdown here in New South Wales. Uh, we've just hit 80% as well, so more freedoms start tomorrow. Um, but it meant we went out to the op shop, so hopefully you guys have caught up with our op shopping adventures video. Um, you've seen what we picked up there, some of the wins, um, some of the misses. Um, if there's anything you think I missed out on, make sure you're commenting on that video and letting me know. Um, or if you think I overpaid for stuff, you know, let me know. Or if there's something you learnt from that video, um, hit me up in the comments there. Um, but again, really, really appreciate all of you who are subscribed, who are commenting, who are liking. Um, I love seeing repeat offenders there on the comments. It's great to have you guys along. Um, I totally appreciate your support. Um, and do hope you're getting something out of these videos. Um, that's really the goal of them, is to share the knowledge that I'm gaining um, because there's so many people out there that are sharing with me. Uh, but we're going to talk about what we've sold um, over the last couple of days. And this is what we have, guys. Um, so a few things here. A nice big stack of media, which we'll go through. Some hats, some shoes, and a shirt or jumper. So we'll start with this one. This is just an Abercrombie and Fitch um, jumper. It is a female jumper. There is a hole in the sleeve down here, which we mentioned in the listing. And that came from our cons one of our consignment lots, so that has sold. I uh, haven't sold a pair of shoes for a couple of weeks, so it's nice to have a pair going out this week. Um, I'll probably do a bit of a sale on my shoes this week now that things are back up and running, um, and hopefully they can make their way out the door, a few pairs, but it's a nice little pair of Nike um, shoes running out the door there. Uh, we have this Houston Rockets hat, so this is a Mitchell and Ness. Um, you'll see in there, it's a hardwood collection hat, so really, really nice condition, and with the NBA season starting back this week, um, I'm not surprised that I'm going to see a couple of NBA hats moving. Uh, we then have this lot of four hats, so these are all going out to the same buyer. Um, there are four here, there's a 2004 Plow and Be Counted 2 hat there, which is pretty cool. Um, a essentially brand new NRL Sydney Roosters hat there. We then have the 2019 uh, Manly Sea Eagles members hat there, trucker style, um, which is brand new. You'll see it's still got the cardboard inside there. And last but not least is this. Um, if you watched last week's Wide World of Reselling, this was one of my sales of the week. I jumped on and explained. This is <clears throat> Sorry, uh, from 47 brand, which is a Boston, USA brand. Um, it's a big bash league, but inside you'll see we've got the sample label and the sample tag here. So I have um, written to the, uh, the product designer. Um, I found him on LinkedIn for 47 brand, and he confirmed that he did design these and sent them over. And they are like a special edition, uh, well, not a special edition, but limited print run, e.g. Um, in the single digits uh, that were made. So that's pretty cool. And that's going out to a collector, I'm guessing. Uh, then we go to our media. We have quite a number of DVDs and games. So first of all, this is one of the first single DVDs that I've sold um, opened. Uh, most of my DVDs, you'll know, I sell sealed. Um, but we had a bunch of DVDs that I went through. Uh, they were from my um, father-in-law's estate. Um, and they've just been sitting in our cabinet over there doing nothing. And so my wife was like, let's just move it on. So I went through, found the uh, valuable ones, listed them up. And uh, the lesser value ones, they're all going to a garage sale, a streetwide garage sale we're going to have in a couple of weeks. But that first one there, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. We've got Mickey Rourke and Don Johnson it's a very different looking Mickey Rourke there. Um, back in the days before he had a bit of plastic surgery and completely changed his look. But yeah, cool little DVD and that one has gone out. Uh, the almost vintage, if not retro games, I guess you could say now, are moving hot. So Worms 4 Mayhem, uh, that has gone out the door. Again, in complete condition, really good nick. Um, that's on its way out the door. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. 
Um, if you see anything Dragon Ball Z game in the thrift in the garage sale, pick it up because this game is incomplete, doesn't have the manual, and has still sold for good dollars. So great to have that one heading out. Uh, here is a six disc Cowboy Bebop anime set. So that's the full um, Cowboy Bebop remix that has sold. Uh, Need for Speed Underground. So many hours were put into this game. So much so that I've actually got my PlayStation 2 sitting there and Need for Speed Underground sitting there with my TV. So my goal is to actually replay that game. I loved it back in the day. Uh, it came out just after the first Fast and the Furious, if I remember correctly. So the whole modding thing was all in the ro rage. It was just something that really was a really fun game to play. Crash Tin Twin Sanity, we sold one of these last week and we've sold another one this week. So last week's was the platinum version. This is the original blue case version and you'll see complete in mint condition. Very cool to have that one. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, so in that you'll see it is iToy enabled. Um, I don't know what that allows you to do, whether that's waving wands or what, but there are games in there that are iToy enabled. Um, so cool for that. Sealed, ga uh, sealed DVDs here, we've got The Girl Who Played With Fire, part two of the Millennium Trilogy. So this is the original Millennium Trilogy, not the Daniel Craig um, attempt. Then we've got BBC's Kings and Queens, a bit of a doco series um, from Cambridge University. Uh, we've got The Pebble and the Penguin from 20th Century Fox. I don't remember that movie, I don't think I've ever seen it, but that has sold. And we go back to this, The Simpsons Skateboarding. Um, really, really cool OG 3D graphics on that. Um, and that is in absolute mint condition. Um, and yeah, essentially, it does say, or it did say just down below in regards to the buy price down here, that I paid $20. Um, I'm just amortizing the cost of a whole lot into that. Um, so I've, I had a lot of Simpsons gear plus four games. So each game I'm amortizing as a $20 cost because the whole lot cost me $80. That way, anything else that I sell from that lot is pure, um, well, it's all, I'm already in profit, um, but it is going to be classified as no cost. Um, and I'm talking to a couple of people about buying it as a wholesale lot anyway, because it is such a, a huge bundle. Um, but then the last thing we've sold this week is the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings special extended DVD edition. So that has sold as well. So again, you remember I talked about the um, the Fellowship of the Ring, uh, the first one, uh, sorry, tw Two Towers I talked about. Two Towers I talked about a couple of weeks ago. It was the f one of the first purchases I made. Uh, I bought all three extended edition DVDs and decided that if they sold... Uh, that's fine. If they didn't sell, I was going to keep them as my own because I love Lord of the Rings, um, but they have sold. So uh, a little bit sad on my behalf, but so be it. Um, so that's essentially what we've sold this week these or this these last couple of days, guys. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff to get listing. I found a couple more things. I'll just show you a couple of cool little pieces that I found. So first and foremost is this little guy here. Uh, found him for $3, and he is a Finding Dory. Um, so he's one of the school members from Finding Dory um, that, that hangs around with Nemo. Um, so he's pretty cool. Uh, I found this really cool Walt Disney World on Ice 1996 vintage puzzle. Um, still sealed in plastic. Um, so picked that up for a dollar, which is pretty cool. Um, and then, last but not least, is this here, Wiggles Bag. I'll bring it over. This is a pretty cool piece, and I reckon um, I bought it for $4. It is brand new with tags, essentially, so dead stock. Um, the, the thing that's really cool about this, and why it should for sell for somewhere like probably about $60, I'm thinking, um, is this will go to a collector, because if you'll actually look at the tag there, you'll notice the yellow wiggle um, just up here. The yellow wiggle is not our original yellow wiggle, and it's not Emma wiggle. So this is this guy was the first changeover. He didn't last, but he was the first of the new members. And uh, we found some merchandise with his little 
happy face on there and that is super cool um, because they are very very rare to come by um, so yeah we're hoping to get some good value for this especially coming up to Christmas um, really cool piece you'll see it's got the glitter banding around um, all you know all sorts of fun stuff so yeah, bit of bit of a fun week. Being back out at the thrift, getting out there. I, I hit up some uh, some garage sales. Well, one garage sale. Uh, there wasn't really a lot there. Um, you know, it's the first weekend of garage sales again. So hopefully next week we'll see a few more things out there, um, and we can find some more stuff to flip, guys. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, all those in Victoria, I hope you guys have survived your first week of increased freedoms. 10 people at the house being able to get out, some shops reopening. Um, and I hope next week you'll see some more freedoms coming into play. But otherwise, guys, thank you again for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do. And always remember, just keep flipping.